I would like to welcome you to the CFA Level 1 online sample on data investments and I would like to discuss how to calculate forward rates from spot rates. The learning outcome statement says calculate forward rates from spot rates. The equation which is included now in the candidate readings to calculate the semi-annual forward rate is as follows. So the forward rate which will start in M semi-annual periods for one semi-annual period equals then 1 plus the spot rate for a period of m semi-annual periods plus 1 semi-annual period to the power of m plus 1 divided by 1 plus the spot rate which uh, for a period of m semi-annual periods to the power of m and from this ratio we have to deduct 1. Please note there is no need to memorize this formula. The important is here that you understand the calculation of the forward rate from spot rates and if you understand the calculation of the forward rate from spot rates then there is no need to memorize this complicated formula. So therefore let's bring some light into the, this equation into the calculation of the forward rate from spot rates using now the exam type question on slide 3. The spot rates for six months treasury bill and one year treasury bills are 2.5% and 2.8% respectively. So we know about the six month spot rate which is 2.5% and the one year spot rate which is 2.8%. Please note that interest rates are always stated in annual terms. Expressed as bond equivalent yields, a bond equivalent yield means now that the half year interest rate is multiplied with 2 in order to come up then with an annualized interest rate. That's known then as a bond equivalent yield. And we have to calculate now the six months forward rate. So that's the forward rate that will start in six months for six months. In order now to visualize the calculation, I take a timeline and the timeline consists of two semi-annual periods. So they take a timeline which has a duration of one year and the one year consists of two semi-annual periods. So the first alternative would be to invest the money over a period of one year that we invest the money at the one year spot rate of 2.8%. So at the one year spot rate of 2.8% that would be then the first strategy to invest the money over a period of one year or alternatively we can invest the money over a period of six months using the six months spot rate of 2.4% and then we can collect the cash proceeds and invest the cash proceeds at the forward rate which will start then in six months for six months. So that would be then the forward rate which will start then in one semi-annual period for one semi-annual period. That's then the second strategy. Please note that with both strategies we can invest the money over a period of one year so therefore we expect now that the outcome of both strategies is the same. Otherwise if this is not the case arbitrage forces in the market will bring back into equilibrium the value of the two strategies. So therefore the value of the first strategy equals now the value of the second strategy. Let's assume that we invest $100 at the beginning of the period. If we do that using the first strategy, then the $100 investment will grow with 1 plus the one year spot rate of 0.028 divided by 2 to the power of 2. One period consists of six months, so for this reason, for this one period, the spot rate that we will earn on the $100 will be 2.8% divided by 2 or 1.4%. Overall, we have two periods and therefore we have to take it to the power of 2. That equals then the outcome of the second strategy. So we take the $100 invested at the beginning of the period and we multiply that with the six months spot rate. That means the $100 will grow at, uh, with one plus the half year spot rate of 0 
divided by 2 for the first semi-annual period and then we can take the cash proceeds of $100 times brackets 1 plus 0 0.0240 divided by 2 and these cash proceeds can be invested at the forward rate which will start in 6 months for 6 months. So we have to multiply it with 1 plus the forward rate which will start in one semi-annual period for one semi-annual period divided by 2. Now we have to rearrange this equation in accordance to the forward rate and in order to do that we have to divide both sides of the equation with $100. So if we do that then the $100 cancels out in the equation. Next we have to divide both sides of the equation with 1 plus 0 0.024 divided by 2. So that means that the forward rate which will start in 6 months for 6 months equals now 1 plus the 1 year spot rate 0 0.028 divided by 2 to the power of 2 divided then by 1 plus the 6 month spot, six month spot rate of 0 0.024 divided by 2. Then next we have to deduct on both sides of the equation minus 1, so minus 1, and then we have to multiply both sides of the equation with 2, so therefore times 2, and that gives then the forward rate which will start in 6 months for 6 months of 3.1%. So therefore, arbitrage thoughts can be taken here to derive the forward rates from spot rates. So the correct answer is answer C, and this discussion illustrates that there is no need to memorize this complicated equation which is included in the candidate readings as long as you understand the calculation.